two of us are from different dimensions. Our bodies interacting must be causing dimensional havoc. So what do I gotta do to leave this dimension? Hug you? Or we can just punch each other? What the hell is that? I want to make something clear. I am not a fan of Rick and Morty. Ever since the show came out over a decade ago, I've never been a fan of the show's character design, the art style, its storytelling, or its sense of humor. Listen, no hate if you enjoy the meandering phrases that have stuttering and filled to the brim with curses. Do us both a favor and pull the trigger! Do it! Do it, mother Pull the trigger! I just don't find that thing sort of funny or entertaining to an extent. So, since I'm not a fan of the show, you may be wondering why in the world am I talking about the anime, especially in a video that is obviously going to be so short and not terribly edited? What the fuck do you think, asshole? Well, it's because sometimes I like to give things another chance. Rick and Morty as a show has been going on for seven seasons and recently wrapped up season seven last year. And sometimes I tend to be overtly harsh in my views on shows, and even more so if their fandoms aren't exactly the most stable. Every once in a while I try to revisit shows or games with a new outlook and if there's a new adaptation or take on the medium, that can really do wonders for it, at least to me. I doubt I'll have it out now, but I do have a video in the works where I talk about the latest game in FNAF and how it really pulled me in as a horror game and it took a different spin on the series with its pixel art. So I thought it'd only be fair to do the same thing with Rick and Morty, especially since it announced to have an anime version of it coming out. Perhaps it can give me a window into the world of the show and make me interested in giving it an actual chance. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Then again, High on Life was awesome to attempt to make me feel that way and... Um, oh, you... I am not shooting a kid. Ah, you shot me, I'm dead. Eh. Alright there, are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally, killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed this kid. Are, are you happy now? <sighs> Still, that's a different property, so let's just... Yeah, no, sorry, this just sucks. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Even from my meager knowledge of the original show, the anime just lacks any of the quote-unquote charm that it has. And that's the lack of any comedic elements or satire within it. So when you're making an anime and you're supposed to be a comedic satire and you lack anything that comes close to it, you know you failed. Not once during the entire episode did I find anything remotely funny or entertaining. And there was an attempt to make a joke, it was near the beginning when the family was invaded by the aliens who are after Rick and Jerry says, I thought I called a plumber! Then after Rick gets taken captive, when it's actually a hologram, Jerry then goes, I knew it had something to do with Rick. I mean, the only thing I'm guilty of is causing our toilet to flush constantly, which hardly warrants a response like that. That's the joke. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. Some sources I found online tell me that Jerry and Toilets are a running gag in the original series. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. But that highlights a big issue with the anime right off the bat, especially for someone like me who doesn't have an expectation. The show wants you to have some familiarity to the original series. I don't know if Jerry's running gag is a thing or not, and even if it was, it sure as hell ain't executed well here. Especially since I know that Jerry's kind of the punching bag in the series, so he should have been roasted for his comments by his family in that regard. What also doesn't help is that the show is constantly fluctuating between several different scenes. Like, we don't even start with the actual family or anything. We start an alien rule that apparently is a commentary on gun ownership? There is none among our people who will pick up a gun to fight. Yes, we forbid those sorts of ambitions long ago. I mean, okay, that's really ham-fisted and kind of dumb since this alien species is about to be blown up by invaders only to be saved by some girl who hacks the alien spaceships. Who is this? Not that it matters since we don't see this girl at this location again in the entire episode. Instead, we cut to Morty being in a virtual reality video game. Except there are multiple realities and he meets a girl named Ellie, except sometimes it's a guy named Frank and then there's a Citizen Kane reference and stop! I don't know if this is a foreign concept, but when you're starting off a new show, the last thing you need to do is bombard your audience with so much jumping around and conflicting information that it essentially caused their head to pop open and their brain yelling, FREEDOM! Please have a cohesive plot to at least dip our toes into the series before we get to the multiversal quantum physics, please. Apparently not, because one look on the wiki for this jumbled up mess of a show tells me that this apparently takes place between seasons 5 and 6. Well, thanks for letting me know, assholes! Not like that information could have been nice to know. Even if I did have that information, that sure doesn't help me out with trying to understand what the hell's going on. Anyone who's coming into this mess who's not familiar with the series is going to be confused as all hell. Even if it's just a continuation of a series, if you're starting on new 
new format or such, it's a pretty good idea to at least establish your characters and how they act as well as what their connections are to other people. So we don't get that here. Bravo on the storytelling there, folks. Listen, I'm not trying to proclaim that what I say is fact, and I'm sure there are people who do enjoy this series and have at least some sort of idea of how this fits into the lore of the original show. However, that's the issue. If you're doing an adaptation, it's a bit of a gambit. Sure, you can have people who are familiar with the original show and enjoy it, but for the people who are not familiar with the show outside of PICKLE RICK, it's not going to really resonate with people. And as an anime fan, <laughs> well this just sucks as an anime. Let me spell it out for you. There are a few kinds of anime, at least to me. There's entertaining anime, there's anime that's okay, there's anime that makes you go... <laughs> Finally, there's boring anime. Pretty much anything, not just anime, cursed by this. It's the worst thing that can be above being bad, it's being boring. And that's what this was. Yes, there is a lot of stuff going on in the episode, but because we're constantly jumping around and we can't really digest the information that we're given in the show, especially when it's repeating the same scenes with slight alterations, the anime almost makes it like it's making up for its rigid and limited animation by jumping as much as it can. And now that I think about it, there's hardly any interaction between the characters, which, you know, is kind of important for a show whose main dynamic is between Rick and Marty, the two most important characters in the original show, so I would assume assume, and they don't really talk to each other in this show. And while there's interactions between the characters in the first episode's anime, it really is just hollow. We're not given a chance to linger on the characters or how they actually act around each other or interact, say for a scene or two that's completely cut out of context. Of course, the biggest issue I have is the character designs. Listen, you really have to do a lot for me to hate an anime-based design. I think my channel's name should give it away that I have a bit of a bias when it comes to manga and anime. And I'll give credit. There are some interesting backgrounds that look appealing in the anime, but the characters are too simple, especially for an anime design. Though that's not a problem in hindsight, because simplified anime can look good, and you don't need a lot of details to make it look appealing. Still, trying to be too close to the original cartoon's design and art aesthetic, all while trying to make a new anime look, just doesn't really appeal to me. Maybe if they actually leaned into the anime aesthetic or did something really over the top, that would have been good. Hell, back in 2018 when Ninja Batman came out, its designs were a little hit or miss, but still had a unique art style to it that I enjoyed. Just something different from this world would at least make this look a little more interesting, but the bigger issue is with the teeth. The big book of British smiles. Not for not, but that's probably one of the worst aspects I hate about from Rick and Morty's cartoon. And I know it's a stupid thing to point out, but at least in the original cartoon, it wasn't as egregious and it's not that noticeable to complain about. But in the anime? What's up with this guy? Who thought it was a good idea to do this? Just give them regular anime teeth. Hell, when they have their teeth closed together with a smile or such, they have regular teeth with no gaps to make them look like they have some kind of humanoid version of Huntel from Pokemon. But yeah, this to me was just a big, boring jumble of information that certainly didn't make me interested in the original show, and that sucks because I would always like to give things a second chance if there's another medium out there that can do it. Hell, look at Cyberpunk 2077, a game that was lampooned when it first came out and had a lot of glitches to it. But when Cyberpunk Edge Runners came out, it renewed a lot of interest in the game and allowed it for to get a second chance in the public eye. And while I'm not saying that the original Rick and Morty is a buggy mess, I'm making this comparison because I wanted this to be the same effect to me on the original series. An adaptation in the medium that I obviously enjoyed would allow me to see what so many others had found interesting and entertaining, and this could have been what made me invest my time in the original series. But with this opening episode, it failed in that regard, and as such, I don't have an interest in this show or the original series. That might be harsh to say, especially since I've only seen one episode of the anime, but like I said at the beginning, I really had no interest in the original show to begin with, despite me giving it a few chances here and there. And with the anime? I am 110 percent done! Well, it made me not want to check out the original cartoon. However, as I said, if you enjoyed this sort of thing, don't let me stop you from enjoying it. I'm just a single guy on the internet who's giving his opinion on a single episode of an anime adaptation of a show that is clearly too smart for me. Because to be fair, you need to have a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty, and I guess you need even higher IQ to get into the anime. But whatever, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Manga Common, and later.